today I would like to talk about uh, in our chapter, chapters of uh, Pretty Lonesome, how we end friendship and walk away. Some topic that is really difficult for when we have especially this friend for a long day, data and we don't know how to walk away, right? So we want to discuss um, what is, um, is, is something that I'm overreacting or is something that have a profound reason that is not good for me. And also some solution and I stand until the end because I give you some tips that you don't expect. But before we start it, I want to introduce myself for the people who is new in the channel. My name is Veronica. I'm chemical engineer. I have years of experience in the corporate work. And then this channel, I want to share with you insight about abundance, about the love and about spirituality. Because I'm firmly believe these three pillars is going to help to you and how you can achieve the life that you want and you deserve. So this is about self-love. So let's get started. Um, how we can realize this new friendship or this friendship from a long time is, um, is something that we need to walk away. Um, three main things. This person is uh, missing, is not give you enough support. And this difficult, difficult moment that you have right now, or you have in the past, and the recently past, this person didn't show up for you the way that you're expecting, or at least in the same way, this is a red flag for friendship. The other thing is, um, do you feel that uh, this person is manipulating you in order to take some advantage? of your friendship at any level for example if this is a friendship from um, childhood and maybe you have a better uh, economic situation right and um, he all the time is appealing to your good heart and say oh you know what I'm a struggle and you have a position than me so we can go out but I don't have enough money so you end up paying every time um, the, the bill. I don't mean that this is something wrong, but uh, when you feel that someone take advantage of you, is when you realize that it's not something that it's not a transaction, right? Because friendship is a transaction. We need to expect in someone for someone else, and the other person is expecting for us give us to them some time, love, support, right? Cannot be some giving and giving without to um, receive anything. And the other point is about manipulation. If you feel at some point that this person is um, take advantage, right? We talk about it. And uh, constant uh, negative uh, feedback. For example, if this person is say to you, you know what? Um, uh, I, I think you're doing anything wrong. Uh, I think you are not... Um, not taking good decision, this kind of thing, right? That uh, even though maybe this person are are telling you the reality, it's not help you to move forward in the current situation that you experience. So another example can be, for example, if at some point this person support you in some decision that you wasn't sure about it, and now that nothing works, the way that's supposed to work, this person say, I knew this decision was wrong. And you said, but you support me before. Yeah, but I knew it. So I just um, I try to be a just person. I try to be polite with you or I try to please you. That is the reason. So this kind of thing that uh, you wondering, I can rely on this person. I can, I can um, show up. This person want to show up for me or not? So... <laughs> These things keep in mind and think about it. Is resign is um, resonate with you. And the solution, the the, the the perfect solution about it is to is to have a conversation with this person and say, you know what, uh, this is not what I'm expecting from friendship. I expecting something different. This friendship is not giving me uh, what I want, right? And I would like to step back and meet new people and have new friends in my life. This is the best scenario, but this is where it's come 
the best part. You are not sure about it because you need more events happen to be sure or you don't feel have the courage enough to face this person face to face. Um, I can advise you something that in Buddhism they explain all the time when you are in front of some situation or someone or with someone that you can struggle to face this person or face this situation is try to walk away from this person take some time doesn't mean that you don't want to talk but not the same uh, interaction that you had before so for example if you're usually to talk every day try to um, split interaction two three times so you have more time to you because when when you um, go back to yourself right and you have more time for yourself it's when you are start to think about I, I gain again my confidence right this is because we are um, taking this decision based and the other person is not help us enough right so um, but this um, distance cannot be a passive distance my point here is you need to work on yourself you need to have a therapist you need to have a new friends or someone that you trust and try to elaborate what is happened here how has been the events and also do things by yourself if for example you feel that uh, you're a, a, a pleasing person what I'm doing that try to put some boundaries with someone else that is more easy for you so start to practice right that um, how you can um, build yourself better have be more strong so when you go back to this person you can have the conversation or at some point you can walk away and you don't gonna have the need to talk with this person and you don't care about if this person is gonna I mean that you don't care but you know what is better for you is it, and it will not make you feel a bad person if you don't um, need to talk with this person just because you feel that have a commitment that you cannot break so if you like this video if you like this content subscribe to my channel remember that my commitment with you share most information as possible and as i always said share information and let's make a community